So we're on the walk and Henry's teaching me about Babiaga. Yay! Oh, and there's the red squirrel. <laughs> okay, so let's walk and talk. So Babiaga had, for example, three horsemen. Um, in, in her more creepy tale, Vasilisa was walking through the woods to go to Babiaga's house to get fire from a spark because her family of her stepmother and her stepsisters were very mean and their fire blew out so they forced her to go to the woods near Dangerous Witch. Now this is more of the creepy tale to make kids not go into the woods too far or just not to go in the woods period. Wait, let's get the red squirrel. Oh, so, there, look, look, look. Up there. Okay, keep talking. So, um, as it went in her story, um, so as Vasilisa was walking through the woods to Babiaga's hut on chicken legs, her Babiaga had a hut, and it had two chicken legs that would walk her hut around. Wait, wait, wait. You can't hear you when you're that way. Okay. Did you hear what I said about hut legs? Yeah, she had, it had chicken legs. And so, as Vasilisa was walking to get a piece of fire, and some fire from Babiaga, <laughs> she saw one horseman. A horseman all dressed in black with a black horse. And they rode through. And Vasilisa walked. She later saw another horseman. All dressed in white on a white horse. Then later on, in the evening, she saw a red horseman. And that red horseman was all dressed in red and had a red horse. Then she got to Baba Yaga's house. And Baba Yaga was very not pleased with the Wait, I can't hear you. She what? Baby Aga was not pleased with her new guest because she in that story is evil. But later on in the story, Vasilisa asks Baby Aga, what were the three horsemen doing? And she says, ah, the black one you saw was night. When he rides through the woods, it becomes night time. Ah, so the black one, when he, right, let's go to this tree, this cool tree. Night. The black one represents night, okay. And then later, when that white one came along, that one represented daytime. Okay. It's people's app. Is it? Yeah. No way. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. And it looks like an elephant. Look at the eye. It looks like the eye in the trunk. Mm -hmm. And she said, that white horseman was the Right. And then she said, and the red one was night. I mean, the red one was evening. Evening. Okay. And that is about her horseman. But later on, other stuff happens to her horseman. And other stories of her. And she, how come she rode around on a wooden pestle? Wooden pestle? Because she didn't come from like exactly the European tales of broomsticks, which is he he he's. Okay. <laughs> she came from a more remote tale of wooden pestle. Um, some people, I might guess that that was to crush her victims, but she didn't really have victims. Ah, easiest to have, easiest to get. This is such a cool tree. A cool tree. 
Okay, so thank you so much for enlightening me and teaching the rest of the girls from the wise woman setting your magic free about Baba Yaga. Goodbye. Goodbye. Perhaps. <laughs> sure. I'm going to go eat icicles now. Goodbye.